The map of our world is about to change. And I'm not talking about China breaching boundaries. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. A massive crack has appeared in eastern Kenya, leading to residents fleeing their homes and people worrying. In Kenya's Rift Valley, a massive crack approximately 50 feet deep has suddenly appeared, leaving both locals and scientists in shock. This crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley, and many experts believe it could eventually contribute to splitting the African continent apart. However, this is not an isolated event. Over the past month, the region has experienced 31 strong earthquakes, including a powerful 5.8 magnitude tremor. The East African Rift is becoming increasingly active, signaling the possibility of a much larger geological shift. This growing seismic activity could indicate the early stages of significant changes that may reshape East Africa's landscape, including the potential formation of a new ocean that could forever alter the continent's geography. One of the most striking signs of this geological transformation appeared in Kenya's Rift Valley when the enormous crack unexpectedly emerged. The sight of this deep fissure astonished both local residents and scientists. Yet, it is not merely an isolated occurrence, this phenomenon is part of a much broader geological process that has been unfolding across the region. In just the past month, the area has been rocked by 31 significant earthquakes, raising fears that the East African Rift is becoming more unstable. The most powerful of these tremors, measuring 5.8 in magnitude, sent shockwaves across the region, highlighting the severity of the situation. These earthquakes are actively stretching the fault lines that divide Africa, gradually pulling the continent apart. The region surrounding Ethiopia's Fentail volcano has been particularly active, experiencing a series of shallow earthquakes that have caused considerable concern. On December 29, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck 46 kilometers north of Metra, followed just hours later by another tremor measuring 4.7 in magnitude. These earthquakes were especially alarming as they occurred at a shallow depth of just 10 kilometers beneath the surface, making them more intense and widely felt, including in the capital, Addis Ababa. Scientists believe that rising magma beneath the volcano is contributing to this increase in seismic activity. If the pressure continues to build, it could potentially trigger a major volcanic eruption. This recent wave of seismic activity bears a striking resemblance to past events, particularly an episode in 1989 when a series of earthquakes in the region led to dramatic tectonic shifts and volcanic eruptions. The East African Rift, which extends over 3,000 kilometers, is one of the most seismically active regions in the world. It marks the gradual separation of the Nubian and Somalian tectonic plates, a process that has been reshaping the land for millions of years. Beneath the rift, immense heat from the Earth's mantle weakens the crust, fueling volcanic eruptions and powerful lava flows. The ongoing seismic activity poses a growing threat to the millions of people living near the rift. More than 3.4 million individuals reside within 100 kilometers of the Fentail volcano, making them particularly vulnerable not only to earthquakes but also to the broader effects of the region's geological instability. As the Earth's movements continue to shape the land, scientists are closely monitoring the situation, recognizing that these events could mark the beginning of a profound transformation in the African continent's geography. Towns like Metra and Awash, located near active fault lines, continue to experience tremors. Although significant physical damage has not yet occurred, experts warn that the increased seismic activity could lead to larger earthquakes, landslides, or even a volcanic eruption in the near future. This growing instability is not only a concern for the immediate region but also points to the potential eruption of the volcano itself. The East African Rift is not just an intriguing geological feature, it is a dynamic force of nature that is slowly but surely reshaping the African continent. Scientists believe that we are witnessing the beginning of a dramatic transformation that will one day create a new ocean, splitting Africa into two separate land masses. While this process will take millions of years, the increasing number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions indicates that significant changes are already underway. This serves as a powerful reminder that the Earth is constantly evolving, and the land beneath our feet is far from stable. Stretching over 3,000 kilometers from the Red Sea to Mozambique, the East African Rift is one of the most fascinating geological formations on Earth. It marks the slow, steady drift of the Nubian and Somalian plates, a process that causes frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. However, 
This rifting is also setting the stage for a new ocean that could eventually divide Africa in two. Scientists predict that it will take between 5 to 10 million years for this transformation to occur, but signs of Africa's eventual split are already visible, with cracks and fissures appearing across the region. One of the most dramatic signs of this process appeared in Kenya, where a massive 50 feet deep crack opened up in the Rift Valley, so deep that the bottom cannot be seen with the naked eye. Beyond this visual spectacle, scientists warn that something much more profound could be happening beneath the surface. Further to the north, in Ethiopia's Afar region, home to a Y-shaped fracture in the Earth's crust, seismic activity has been rising over time. This rifting could eventually allow water from the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden to flood the Rift Valley, creating a new ocean. If this happens, parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Djibouti could break away from Africa, forming a new island similar to Madagascar. As this process continues, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will gradually flood the depression in the Rift Valley, accelerating the formation of this new ocean. The recent seismic activity, including a 5.8 magnitude earthquake and 31 strong tremors within a month, indicates that the region is becoming increasingly unstable. Volcanic activity is also on the rise at Fentale Volcano. Seismic activity has been intensifying, with tremors ranging from 4.3 to 5.1 in magnitude. These tremors indicate that magma is rising beneath the surface, increasing the likelihood of an eruption. Fentale Volcano, which last erupted in 1820 CE, stands as a stark reminder of the powerful forces shaping the Rift Valley. Its summit features a massive caldera measuring 2.5 by 4.5 kilometers, a visual representation of the immense power beneath the Earth. Previous eruptions, such as the one in 1250 CE, resulted in devastating lava flows that destroyed towns and churches. As seismic activity continues to rise, scientists are closely monitoring Fentail, warning that another eruption could be imminent. East Africa is undergoing a profound geological transformation that will reshape the continent's geography over millions of years. However, the immediate concern is the danger posed to the millions of people living near the rift. Towns like Metra, Awash, and Addis Ababa are already experiencing frequent tremors, and experts warn that the risk of larger earthquakes, ground collapses, or volcanic eruptions remains high. This seismic instability highlights the urgent need for better monitoring, preparedness, and public awareness in the region. For years, scientists have studied the geological changes occurring in East Africa, but recent developments have brought the process into sharper focus, revealing that the region's transformation is happening faster than anticipated. The combination of increasing volcanic activity, frequent earthquakes, and the eventual formation of a new ocean suggests a dramatically different future for East Africa, one that is already in motion. These changes are not just theoretical predictions but active, ongoing processes that are fundamentally reshaping the landscape and affecting those who live there. The Earth's landforms are in a state of continuous change, and the landscape we know today may look very different in the years to come.